everything open for the lightning starter for Final Fantasy TCG. Uh, so on every starter you get a sort of like a rules poster. So we're going to set that aside. Uh, we'll do that in a separate video, talk about the rules. And you also get like a little uh, play mat that um, basically gives you a nice layout of where all your cards are supposed to go. Draw deck, discard pile, um, damage pile, all that stuff. And then it has some uh, deck lists and tips and stuff on the back too. But really we're going to focus on what do you actually get in the starter as far as cards are concerned. So lightning, uh, if we go back and look at the box here, this neat little thing that um, the starters do for the game. So the elements that are in the game are also featured on the starter boxes. So lightning is focusing on shocker lightning and um, ice, I believe, as well. Yes, so, um, so we'll see that when we get to the cards here. So first up, lightning herself. So you get three copies of her. And she's one of our forwards, which is basically like a regular creature in Magic. 8,000 power. Um, haste gets cheaper the more Final Fantasy 13 characters you have in play. And when she deals um, damage to your opponent, uh, you can choose one of their forwards and dull it or uh, turn it sideways for those familiar with other card games. So, you get three copies of her. Let's put this over here. So, one more copy. Then we get Gilgamesh, also forward, uh, four cost, also 8,000 power. Uh, can be returned to its owner's hand by opponent's summons or abilities, and then he can pump himself up with power. And he has another special ability here, where if you discard another copy of him from your hand, uh, choose a forward and break it, or just destroy it. Um, you can only use this ability if you've received four points of damage or more, so it's kind of a mid to late game uh, ability there, but still pretty powerful, so you can just get rid of anything. So, uh, yeah, three copies of that. Then we get into a summon here. This is Odin. Um, really cool. So, four cost. Choose a forward of four, uh, cost four or less and break it, so that's pretty neat. Um, you only get two of those, though. Would have liked a third, perhaps. Sage is a standard unit, so this is kind of like your resource producers, but this one has a neat ability. Um, when it enters the field, choose a character card in your break zone or your discard pile and add it to your hand so she can get things back. So that's pretty neat. Noel, or Noel, however you want to pronounce him, forward with haste. And if you have Sarah, which she's also in the deck, he gets 2,000 power. So, um, so if you can get him out and Sarah, 7,000 power, and he can swing right away. So that's pretty cool. So we do get three copies of him. Then we get a Dragoon, kind of a generic guy. Um, three cost for 6,000 power, but he does have first strike, though. So that's kind of cool. So he gets to do his damage first. Magus is pretty cool, actually. Three cost, also generic. Um, and when Magus enters the field, uh, choose a forward, deal it 5,000 damage. So she can get rid of a lot of low-level guys, mid-level guys. So that's pretty Cool there, only two though. Again, would have liked three. Um, a key, um, two costs, pretty cheap, um, and he's a backup as well, so not um, a fighting character. Um, has a special ability here. Let's get that a little closer for you guys. So, one lightning resource and um, dulling him or turning him sideways. Choose one attacking lightning forward, it gains first strike. So it's a way to buff up lightning, your different versions of lightning. So you get three of him. Then you get Rigdia, I believe, is how you pronounce him. Two cost, 5,000 power, so that's pretty cool. Um, when he enters the field, choose an active forward, deal at 3,000 damage. When it's put from the field into the break zone this turn, choose one forward opponent controls and dull it as well so he can do a lot of work against low level guys or help finish off a guy that was dealt damage earlier in the turn so really cool stuff there and really low cost so that's always cool three copies then finishing up the lightning side or half of this deck uh, we get a summoner just a one cost standard unit so resource producer only two of him though then we get to the ice side starting with the most expensive so you get dark knight um, 7,000 uh, power for 4 cost, and for 2 ice, he can deal 1,000 damage to all the forwards, opponents, or your opponent controls. So, um, so if you can build up a lot of ice resources, perhaps, somehow, you can start killing off guys pretty quick. Um, so you get a couple, or actually one copy of him, if I'm not mistaken, nope, two copies. Um, this Dark Knight, 
same art, slightly different hair color, I guess, but cheaper. This one seems a little cooler to me. Um, 8,000 power for three, but perhaps more importantly, when he dies or goes uh, to the break zone, um, your opponent takes a point of damage. Now, remember in Final Fantasy, you only have to deal your opponent 7,000 damage, so this can be a kind of a deterrent um, as far as uh, them attacking you and killing that. If, you're, if you can get your opponent to six and um, put him in the way to sort of threaten uh, him getting killed, uh, that can uh, seemingly be a pretty neat trick. Um, but of course, I'm sure there's all kinds of other ways to make use of him, so since we just started getting into this game, so I'm sure there's all kinds of other things to learn still. But it seems like a cool card to me right now, at least. Snow, three cost, 7,000 power. And when he blocks, choose a forward and dull it, so if they attack, you can maybe uh, lock down one of their other guys. He has a Vendetta ability here, where you gotta discard another version of him. Till the end of the turn, he gains plus 2,000 power and first strike. You use that only while you're blocking, so he can buff himself up on the defense. But that seems very situational to me right now, but you get three copies. This guy's really cool. Mog, um, he's a backup, but really cool enter the field ability. Um, search your, um, you may search for one category 13, um, forward and add it to your hand. So basically he will go and tutor for lightning, probably, most of the time, if you don't already have her in hand, or any of the other cool things from 13. Shiva is a neat summon here on the ice side. So, um, it's got an EX burst, which is another special ability. We'll talk about that in another video, um, when we talk about the rules for the game. But... Choose one forward, dull it, and freeze it. So um, that's pretty cool. Freezing in this game is a neat little ability. Locks guys down for a turn, basically. So we get two Shivas. Then we get Sarah, if you remember Noel from the other side of the deck. So this is who he, or uh, what it's referring to. Sarah, three cost, 6,000 power. But more importantly, kind of a control card. So forces your opponent to discard when she comes into play. So pretty neat. We get three copies of her. Then we get Jill Nabot, two cost, and she's just a backup, but really cool here. EX Burst, and um, so when she comes into play here, choose up to two forwards and freeze them. So she can lock down two of your opponent's guys at once, really cool. And then she has this other crazy sadistic surge ability. Choose a forward, dull it, and freeze it as well, though you have to have another copy of her to discard. So. Um, we won't always be getting that off, but it seems really good. Sid seems to be my favorite card from this side of the deck, though. Two cost, 5,000 power, and he does a whole lot of work when he comes in. Um, enters the field, choose and, or choose one dull forward opponent control, so one that's already turned sideways. Deal it 4,000 damage. When it's put from the field into the break zone this turn, your opponent discards one card from his hand, so um, deals damage maybe gets a discard off as well, so a lot of good stuff, but keep in mind your opponent does have, have to have already a dulled one, but if you notice with a lot of these freeze abilities you can dull their creatures, um, freeze it, and then maybe place it afterwards to deal some damage and kill it, and force a discard as well, all while putting another body on the field basically, so seems really cool. Then we get into some generics here, a bard, two cost for a standard guy, so a resource maker, uh, you can pay a, um ice and dull him, put him into the break zone, so you're killing him, but it's another discard on your that you're forcing on your opponent, so that could be cool. Only two of these, though. Probably would have preferred a third in the deck, to be honest. And then, last but not least, or maybe least, really, we get two generic one-cost summoners, so chances are these will be getting discarded for resources most of the time, but... Um, there you have it. So that is the Lightning Starter. Um, played with it a few times already, so um, seems fairly good if you can get all the cards and sort of, you know, everything to happen. Although it doesn't seem as, it seem to have as many sort of synergies and just outright power as some of the other decks. Um, playing against a Zidane deck from Final Fantasy IX, that seemed to be uh, on a whole other power level compared to this. But I'm sure this will get better once we start adding um, cards from booster packs and everything into it. So that's been our unboxing here for the uh, Final Fantasy Lightning starter for the Final Fantasy TCG. So stay tuned for more videos.